This is a collection of artifacts found in Sichuan province, China. However, in the historical records of this country, there is no mention of any dynasty, cultural background, or written script associated with these artifacts. Here is an object that looks seemingly simple, but in reality, it was created using welding technology. However, wait a minute. Did welding technology existed over 4,000 years ago? In this object, there is also phosphorus. Isn't it true that phosphorus was only discovered in the late 17th century? How did the creators of this object acquire the knowledge to extract and use pure phosphorus? This civilization has a long history, surpassing even the Maya civilization and being more magnificent than the terracotta warriors of the Jin dynasty. From glory to decline, the Sangxing Dewey is always shrouded in mystery. Why can a historical site like this create such a stir within and beyond China? Number 1. What is Sangxing Dewey culture? The reason is that its history can be traced back to around 3000 BC, and prior to that, the known history of China only extends to the end of the Xia dynasty, approximately 4,200 years ago. In other words, if we can unravel all the secrets of the Sangxing Dewey, our understanding of the origins of Chinese civilization may undergo revolutionary changes. Not only that, Sangxing Dewey is also a place filled with questions and debates. Its cultural artifacts diverge significantly from traditional Chinese culture and even exhibit astonishing similarities with ancient Egyptian, Maya, and other civilizations. The technology of this civilization has surpassed the level of its time and even some modern achievements. What mysterious power does Sangxing Dewey possess that allowed it to create such a remarkable civilization? The discovery of Sangxing Dewey originated from a very serendipitous occasion in 1929. At that time, Yan Dao Cheng, a farmer in Guanhan, Sichuan, and his son were plowing the fields with a hoe when they accidentally hit a hard object. Curious, they dug it out and discovered that it was a finely crafted jade artifact. This discovery immediately caused a stir among the local people, who flocked to search for more treasures. The news quickly spread throughout China, attracting the attention of many antique dealers and scholars. It wasn't until 1934 that a new archaeological team arrived at Sangxing Dewey to conduct the first archaeological excavation. Near the archaeological site, they found three small mounds shaped like three stars, so they named the place Sangxing Dewey. Although they uncovered some bronze items, jade artifacts, pottery, and stone tools in this excavation, no particularly significant artifacts were found. Due to the political situation at the time, they had to hastily conclude the expedition. Number 2. Discovered Artifacts It wasn't until 1986 that Sangxing Dewey regained the attention of the archaeological community. As archaeological work progressed, experts discovered the Sangxing Dewey Pit No. 1 and No. 2. These pits contained thousands of exquisite cultural artifacts such as bronze statues, standing figures, large masks, and more. Most notably, there is a bronze tree, standing at 13 feet, currently the tallest bronze tree object in the world. This bronze tree is intricately decorated, consisting of a tree base and trunk divided into three levels, each level with three branches, totaling nine branches. On each branch, there is a flower with hollow patterns and a sacred bird vividly depicted on it. Throughout the entire tree, there are nine sacred birds, and the shape and appearance of this bronze tree closely resemble the fusing tree described in the Shanghai Jing. Number three. The foreign artifacts differ significantly from the Han Chinese civilization. This discovery raises questions, prompting one to wonder whether the mythological stories described in the Shan Hai Jing are not just legends, but also rooted in history. In addition to the bronze tree, Sangxing Dewey also revealed a prominent mysterious cultural artifact. 
a vertically aligned bronze mask measuring approximately 25 inches in width and 4.5 feet in height. The eyes of this mask are cylindrical, protruding about 6.3 inches forward, and notably, it features disproportionately large ears inconsistent with human facial characteristics. This puzzled experts, leading them to speculate on why the people of Sangsing Dewey created such a mask. In addition to the above, another astonishing discovery is the bronze sun wheel. It has a history of over 3,000 years, with a round shape and a raised circle in the center. It looks quite similar to a modern steering wheel, doesn't it? What's even more surprising is that a similar form of the sun wheel appears in wall paintings of ancient Egyptians. This has sparked speculation about whether there might be some connection between ancient Egyptian civilization and Sangsing Dewey. Number 4. Original Ecological Artifacts The primarily excavated ecological artifacts were ivory and seashells. Although they belonged to individual species, the quantities were extensive. Firstly, let's discuss ivory. Preliminary estimates suggest there were thousands of ivory pieces. If one elephant has two tusks, how many elephants would need to be hunted? How were their bodies processed? Where did the elephants come from? Perhaps ancient Sichuan was once the homeland of these elephants. Let's talk about seashells. Over 4,600 seashells have been excavated, uniformly sized, and some have been processed. It is evident that each seashell was carefully chosen. The large quantity of shells has puzzled researchers. Some experts using analytical tools suggest that these shells originated from the northern part of the Indian Ocean, primarily the region between the Bay of Bengal and the Arabian Sea. This raises the question, why are there so many seashells from the distant Indian Ocean found at Sangsing Dewey? Number 5. Sangsing Dewey is an extremely advanced prehistoric civilization. If the discoveries of pits number 1 and number 2 were already astonishing, the new findings in June 2022 have further shaken our understanding of ancient civilizations. While excavating pit number 7 at the Sangsing Dewey site, archaeologists unexpectedly uncovered an object with a peculiar shape. This object is primarily made of bronze, with an overall shape resembling a turtle shell, covered in intricate, mysterious-looking lines resembling a network. To explore the production process of this cultural artifact, experts conducted X-ray tests on it, and the results left everyone astonished. They discovered that it actually bears welding marks, with the welded parts so delicately done that they are almost imperceptible to the naked eye. Experts explain that the earliest origin of welding technology comes from carbon arc welding introduced from abroad in 1881. It is a technique that uses an arc to create high temperatures, melting and joining metals. However, this discovery at Sangsing Dewey has directly pushed the origins of welding technology and history forward by more than 2,000 years. It reveals that as early as 4,000 years ago, people of China had mastered advanced welding technology, potentially surpassing modern achievements. What's even more astonishing is that the bronze cools rapidly. So, how did the people of Sangsing Dewey create it? And that's not even the most shocking part. Through research, experts have also discovered that these newly excavated bronze artifacts contain a unique chemical substance, phosphorus. Those with knowledge of chemistry will recognize phosphorus as a non-metal element. It not only accelerates the flow rate of molten copper, but also slows down the solidification time of molten copper, beneficial for casting intricate shapes. However, phosphorus was only discovered in 1649. So how did the people of Sangsing Dewey extract phosphorus over 4,000 years ago? Where did they learn about the existence and role of phosphorus? It is not surprising that archaeological experts believe it may not be advisable to continue excavating Sangsing Dewey. 
Every cultural relic unearthed here differs significantly from traditional Chinese culture, and further excavation could potentially overturn the history of Chinese civilization, and even global history. The Sangxing Dui civilization and the ancient Maya, both located around 30 degrees north latitude, share mysterious disappearances in history. The ancient Maya, a thousand years ago, similarly vanished mysteriously into the currents of history for reasons yet unknown, much like the people of Sangxing Dui. Various hypotheses have been proposed, including theories of flooding, warfare, migration, lightning strikes, and internal conflicts, among others. However, none of these theories have sufficient evidence to be conclusive. Many mysteries at Sangxing Dui remain unanswered. The Sangxing Dui civilization left almost no written records in ancient Chinese texts. It seems to have dropped from the sky and suddenly vanished without a trace. This is also a significant reason why archaeologists find it challenging. We believe that with the deepening of archaeological research, the yet-to-be-solved mysteries of Sangxing Dui will gradually be unraveled and the secrets of Sangxing Dui will be revealed. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to receive notifications for the latest videos. Thank you for your interest and following.